Congrats on your new Blazor EV. Today, we're gonna to go through how to establish your digital presence on your new vehicle. With Google built in, we've enabled a seamless experience that allows you to keep your eyes on the road and hands on the wheel. Before we get started, make sure you have a Google login and password ready to go. When starting up your vehicle at first, you may be prompted to agree to Google services user terms. This allows your vehicle to communicate with Google and pull in information such as map data. You'll want to accept these terms to enable the fullest experience. With your login and password in hand, let's get started. In the upper right corner of the center display, you'll see a round icon with a single letter in it, right here. Upon first startup, this will likely have a D for driver. Tap that icon to go to the profile screen. You'll first want to add a profile by clicking the plus icon located here, next to the existing profiles, which are likely driver and guest. You'll be prompted to confirm a new profile should be created. Keep in mind, apps will be shared across profiles. Once doing so, you may have to agree to terms once again for Google services. There are three options for logging into your Google profile. You can do so with an iPhone, with an Android, or through the vehicle screen. For now, let's try with an iPhone. The process is rather simple. Once selecting the prompt, a QR code will appear on the screen. Scan the QR code with your phone to be redirected to a login page. The center display will reflect this with a continue setup on your phone page. Enter your username and password and confirm you are signing into a car. From there, your information will be passed back to your Blazor EV and a confirmation of sign-on will appear on the center stack. After clicking the next button, some quick tips will show up for using Google Assistant using the steering wheel controls, and in addition, you'll be prompted for personal results. Turn these on to enable free flow of contacts and personal information from your phone to the vehicle. From there, Google will prompt you to expand your installed apps with some recommendations. You can quickly select a few to install or skip this process to install some applications later. For now, let's skip adding any applications and circle back to this later. If you do choose to install some applications, keep in mind it may take some time. Google will let you know when setup is complete. Now that your account is set up, let's pair your phone. To do so, from the home screen, go to the phone application. From here, select the Manage Phones prompt at the bottom of the screen, where a list of all previously connected phones will be shown. If none are present, select the plus icon to the left of the screen. This will start a Bluetooth pairing prompt with the vehicle name, probably similar to something you've seen on other vehicles. From here, pair from your phone's Bluetooth settings. Make sure to confirm the pairing numbers match. Your iPhone may prompt you to allow syncing contacts. For the fullest experience, allow the phone to do so to enable the vehicle to respond to requests related to your contact names. There's an additional step here in the iPhone settings. Click the I next to your connected Blazor EV and toggle on show notifications. This allows Google Assistant to see when you have incoming texts and report them on the screen to you. After doing this, disconnect and reconnect the Bluetooth device to enable these changes to take effect. There is one last step to fully establish your digital presence. Within the settings menu on your Blazor EV, scroll down to apps, then special app access, in that submenu, you'll want to select Notification Access. Enable access for Google Assistant and hit Allow. This lets Google Assistant read your incoming text messages to you via the Voice Assistant. Without this, your vehicle will show your message notifications but will not be able to read them to you while at speed. Without this step, the Google Assistant will not prompt you to enable notification access until you attempt to have it read your first text. There's so much more to explore with Google built in, but these few steps should get you started and ready to go. Additional guides and content are available via the Chevy support page and the Blazor EV Education YouTube playlist. Safe driving and enjoy your new ride.